What's up, YouTubers? Just a short video tonight. This is a question I have for the audience. Um, I just saw this in a news report, and I'm not sure if this is true, so I'm, I'm curious if any of the viewers have come across smart energy. I read an article then in uh, Colorado, they can shut your energy off if you're using too much energy, or if they decide uh, people need to start rationing energy whether they want to or not. So I'm just putting it out there, can the government through the smart energy protocols they have on people's homes, can they just arbitrarily shut your your energy off so you can't use any more energy until they decide you know what's appropriate for you or your family or whatever. Anyways, that's the question. Leave it in the comments if you heard that. The only reason I bring it up is because it's pretty authoritarian and also too it fixes in with my belief that I don't know when, but if the economic crisis gets any worse and the government decides for whatever reasons you can't travel, they're just going to shut your ATM your ATM car off. When I say the government, I mean they'll do it through the banks, just like with COVID. Like you could come and go. I came and went from the United States without a COVID test or without a vaccine card or anything. Um, and I know other people who did it on the airlines. I don't want to get into how they did it, but they just did. That doesn't mean everyone can do it, but basically it was up to the airlines whether they would let you on or off, get on an airplane and go to a country. Now, I realize that's mostly done with most countries, but but that's what I mean. The private sector will enforce this stuff. That's what kind of fascism is, but I'm just curious um, if you heard this thing about the energy, smart energy, where they can just shut your energy off if they choose to not want you to have any more energy. Anyways, um, to finish the other loop, uh, my view is not now, but in the future, if the government doesn't want people retiring abroad or taking vacations abroad, they'll just put pressure on the banks to shut you out of the banking system. The same thing will happen if CB central bank digital currencies is entered. I personally, as of right now, don't think that will happen in the U.S., or if it does, it'll be last. The first countries that it'll do will be the small ones like China, uh, maybe a country like Australia or New Zealand or a country, more likely a country in Europe because of all their economic stress. So like... They'll hand out benefits through the central bank digital currency. Then if you don't go along with the program, they'll just shut you out of the system. You won't be able to buy groceries. You won't be able to do a lot of things like use utilities, things like that. Anyways, just leave it in the comment. If you've heard anything in the United States where the government's visa through the corporations will shut your energy off if the government says, hey, we're in an energy crisis. You need to shut and start shutting down the power so they can only use it during a certain time of the days because we're running out of energy. Anyways, that's it for tonight. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you.